Windows 101, the anatomy of a window. There are many parts that make a window a window, and we hope this short video helps you to understand all of them. We'll begin with the frame. The frame is the combination of the heads, jams, and sill. Together, these form a precise opening that the sash fits into. The head is the main horizontal part forming the top of the window frame, while the sill is the main part that forms the bottom. The jams are the main vertical parts forming the sides. The type of sill in a window determines how water is kept from coming inside the home. On windows with sloped sills, the sash sits down on the top of the slope of the sill, which allows water to run off to the outside. Some windows have a pocket sill. Water collected in the sill escapes to the outside of the home through weep holes. The sash of the window is an assembly of styles and rails made into a frame, which holds a piece of glass. Styles are the vertical pieces of the sash and rails are the horizontal members of the sash. As replacement windows are installed in existing openings, it is sometimes necessary to use a sill angle and or head expander to complete the job. The sill angle is an L-shaped accessory that may be attached at the sill of a window to close the gap left from the existing sill construction. The head expander is an inverted U-channel accessory that can be fitted to the head of the window to accommodate any difference between rough opening and window height. Another key component used to successfully install a replacement window is the jam adjuster. Up to three of these metal adjusters are located on the jam of the window and can be turned to help square the window in the opening. The more adjusters, the easier the installation. As we continue to explore the anatomy, let's review the parts important for installation. The nail fin is generally an extruded part of new construction windows and used to secure the window into a rough opening. The nail fin can also be snapped onto new construction windows. Some windows have a front flange. The flange helps cover any space between the window and the siding. A J-channel is also important for siding installation, as it provides an area into which the siding meets the window. Next, we're going to talk about the lock, lift, and meeting rails on a hung window. The lock rail is the top of the bottom sash, where the locking mechanism for the window sits. Meeting rail refers to the spot where the lock rail comes together with the bottom of the top sash. The lift rail runs horizontally across the bottom of the bottom sash and is used for raising and lowering the sash. For a hinged casement or awning window, a crank mechanism is used to operate the sash. The lock sits on the top of the bottom sash lock rail and the keeper sits on the bottom of the top sash on the meeting rail where the two come together. The tilt latch also sits on the lock rail and allows you to tilt the sash in for easy cleaning from inside your home. Along with the lock, a window opening control device, WOCD, is optional on some windows. They are found on the vertical sash styles and are always activated for fall prevention. Some windows also come standard with night latches, which when activated can allow ventilation without a large opening. These small pieces of vinyl are located on the top sash style and pop out to position sash for optimum ventilation. There are lots of moving parts to windows that help improve their functionality. The balance system, for example, is what allows the sash in a hung window to operate and stay in place. There are three main types of balance systems. Constant force coil balance, most commonly used in replacement windows. Spiral balances that can be adjusted as necessary for ease of operation. And block and tackle for new construction products. In each instance, the balance is seated in a pivot pin. The pivot or tilt pin is attached to the bottom of the window sash. The balance must be properly seated in the pivot pin to allow the window to raise and lower properly. Sliding window sashes operate horizontally with rollers or glide pads. Because parts of a window are not always referenced the same way, we hope this made understanding window anatomy a little easier.